Mr. Ollivander, I'm sorry to disturb you. My dear boy, you rescued us. I thought we would die in that place. I can never thank you. Never thank you enough. We were glad to do it. Mr. Ollivander, I need some help. Anything, anything. Can you mend my wand? Is it possible? Holly and Phoenix Feather, 11 inches, nice and supple. Yes, can you? No, I'm sorry, very sorry. But a wand that has suffered this degree of damage cannot be repaired by any means I know of. Well, can you identify these wands? Walnut and dragon hair string, 12 and 3 quarter inches, unyielding. This wand belonged to Bellatrix Lestrange. And this one? Half-worn and unicorn hair, ten inches precisely, reasonably springy. This was the wand of Draco Malfoy. Was. Isn't it still his? Perhaps not. If you took it, I did. Then it may be yours, of course. The manner of taking it matters much. Much also depends upon the wand itself. In general, however, there is a wand it been won. Its allegiance will change. You talk about wands as if they've got feelings, like they can think for themselves. The wand chooses the wizard. That much has always been clear to those who have studied wand lore. A person can still use a wand that hasn't chosen them, though. Oh yes, if you are any wizard at all, you will be able to channel your magic through almost any instrument. The best results, however, must always come where there is the strongest affinity between wizard and wand. These connections are complex, an initial attraction and then a mutual quest for experience, the wand learning from the wizard and the wizard from the wand. I took this wand from Draco Malfoy by force. Can I use it safely? I think so. Suitable laws govern wand ownership, but the conquered wand will usually bend its will to its new master. I think so. Subtle laws govern o wand man. I think so. Subtle laws govern wand ownership, but the conquered wand will usually bend to the will of its new master. Then should I use this one? Chestnut and dragon heart string, nine and a quarter inches, brittle. I was forced to make this shortly after my kidnapping for Peter Pettigrew. Yes, if you want it. It is more likely to do your bidding and do it well than any other wand. And this holds true for all wands, does it? I think so. You ask deep questions, Mr. Potter. One wand is a complex and mysterious brand of magic. So, it isn't necessary to kill the previous owner to take true possession of a wand. Ooh, necessary? No, I should not say that it is necessary to kill. There are legends, though. Legends about... A wand, or wands, that have passed from hand to hand by murder. One would wand, I think. And you know who is interested in it, isn't it? I, ha, ha, how, how do you know this? He wanted you to tell him how to overcome the connection between our wands. He tortured me, you must understand that. The Cruciatus curse, I had no choice but to tell him what I knew, what I guessed. I understand. You told him about the twin cores. You said he just had to borrow another one from a wizard. But it didn't work. Mine still beat the borrowed one. Do you know why that is? I had never heard of such a thing. Your one performed something quite unique that night. The connection of the twin cores is incredibly rare, yet why our one should have snapped the borrowed one, I, I do not know. We were talking about the other wand, the one that changes hands by murder. When you know who realized my wand had done something strange, he came back and asked about that other wand, didn't he? How, how do you know this? Yes, he asked. He wanted to know everything I could tell him about the wand various owned as the Death Stick, the Wand of Destiny, the Elder Wand. The Dark Lord has always been happy with the wand I made him. You, Phoenix Fella, thirteen and a half inches, until he discovered the connection of the Twin Cores. Now he seeks another, a more powerful wand, the only way to conquer yours. But he'll know soon, if he doesn't already, that mine's broken beyond repair. No! He can't know that! 
Harry, how could he? Priori incantatum. We left your wand and the blackthorn one with the Malfoy, Hermione. If they examine them properly, make them recreate spells that they've cast lately, they'll see that yours broke mine, and they'll see that you tried to fail and mend it, and they'll realize that I've been using the blackthorn one ever since. Let's not worry about that now. The Dark Lord no longer seeks the Elder Wand, only for your destruction, Mr. Potter. He is determined to possess it because he believes that it will make him truly invulnerable. And will it? The owner of the Elder Wand must always fear attack. But the idea of the Dark Lord in possession of the Death Stick is, I must admit, formidable. You, you really think this wand exists then, Mr. Ollivander? Oh yes, yes, it is perfectly possible to trace the wand's course through history. There are gaps, of course, and long ones where it vanishes from view, temporarily lost or hidden, but always it resurfaces. It is certainly identifying characters that those who are learned in one law recognize. There are written accounts, some of them obscure, that I have and other wand makers have made it our business to study. They have the ring of authenticity. So, you... you don't think it can be a fairy tale or a myth? No. Whether it needs to pass by murder, I do not know. Its history is bloody. That may be simply due to the fact that it is such a desirable object and arouses such passions in wizards. Immensely powerful, dangerous in the wrong hands, and an object of incredible fascination to all of us who study power of wands. Mr. Ollivander, you told you-know-who that Grigorovich had the Elder Wand, didn't you? But how... How do you... Never mind how I know it. You told you-know-who that Grigorovich had the wand? It was a rumour. A rumour years and years lo ago, long before you were born. I believe Grigorovich himself started it. You can see how it's good, if it would be for business, that he was studying and duplicating the qualities of the Elder Wand. Yes, I can see that. Mr. Ollivander, one last thing, and then we'll let you get some rest. What do you know about the Deathly Hallows? The... the what? The Deathly Hallows. I'm afraid I do not know what we're talking about. Is this still something to do with wands? Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll leave you to get some rest now. He was torturing me. The Cruciatus Curse. You have no idea. I do. I really do. Please get some rest. Thank you for telling me all of this. Grigorovich had the Elder Wand a long time ago. I saw you know who trying to find him. When he tracked him down, he thought that Grigorovich didn't have any more. It was stolen from him by Grindelwald. How Grindelwald found out Grigorovich had it, I don't know. But if Grigorovich was stupid enough to spread the rumor, it can't have been that difficult. And Grindelwald used the Elder Wand to become more powerful, and at the height of its power, when Dumbledore knew he was the only one who could stop him, he dueled Grindelwald and beat him and took the Elder Wand. Dumbledore had the Elder Wand? But then, where is it now? At Hogwarts. But then let's go! Harry, let's go and get it before he does. It's too late for that. He knows where it is. He's there now. Harry, how long have you known this? Why have we been wasting time? You did talk to Griphook first. We could have gone. We could still go. No. Hermione's right. Dumbledore didn't want me to have it. He didn't want me to take it. He wanted me to get the Horcruxes. The unbeatable one, Harry! I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to get the Horcruxes. <gasps> mm. <sighs> I shall join you in the castle shortly. Leave me now. Hogwarts. Mm. <laughs> 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 had the fool imagined that marble or death would protect the wand? He had just thought the Dark Lord would be scared to violate his tomb. <laughs> Ha ha ha!